so now we are going to try Garen. And hope for the same luck as well. Oh, we won't use Yone early on. We have yet to use Yone in general. But since it only has 10 health, we really don't want to prolong things for long, like more than we have to. I probably could have won that turn. If not, they'd have one health left. We win next turn regardless. As long as Yasuo and or the Shadow Assassin live. Since a lot of our cards have two or less power, or, oh, yeah, two or less power, I think Poppy would be best here. So I'm not sure if Yordle Smith's attack skill uh, works on himself. So that's why I didn't do that that turn. We are defending our Nexus health as well.
Wait, does that give all allies? Okay, just... Yeah, just the one who got attacked. Alright. I wasn't sure because I, I guess I seen Duran Sculptor. Uh, her powers pop off twice. Yeah, that's kind of what it was. Uh, I wasn't sure because the uh, Plucky Poro got more power. I was like, wait, what? So no matter what, we kind of lose a couple here regardless. But we are trying to keep the ones that have synergy. Although, I do suppose that the Yordle Smith is indeed worthless here. And yes, his quick attack does affect himself, so we did learn that. We didn't really need to cut copies of a card. I think everything was okay. If anything, I'd probably cut Yone, but I believe that Yone would be better whenever we're up against Garen. So within matches like this, I kind of feel like it's okay for us to stall, uh, because we are buffing up some of our units. Unfortunately, if we choose to block here, we're definitely losing everyone. So we're pretty forced into taking damage here. There's no healthy option. We could have won with Twin Disciples there. We are also taking a lot of damage.
So this is kind of rough for both sides. Um, however, we win next turn. We have unit advantage. They only have one card. Their one card's on the board stunned. There's no chance. Unfortunately, we're not really getting that good of cards here. From what I'm understanding, it seems like Jinx was as easy as she was in order to open up the gates to other champions, which is good. So we could block both of the Hawks for free. And we're going to recall Ash since they don't have four spell mana to bring her back. Now we'll also stun that. And now this is risky using Yasuo to block the Ice Veil Archer. Because they probably have the one. Fraulyord spell that deals damage whenever things are damaged. So now we have upgraded Yasuo. We're just going to do that to give everyone more power. Having Yasuo a challenger is nice. Um, we have to understand that we are going to be going against Garen, though. Phage is better. Yeah, I have no problems with Phage. An Affirmial copy of Yasuo is nice. Obviously, it has more power behind it, um, whenever it, he's level 2, as goes for Poppy as well. 
Enfeebling Strikes also something to think about, and Quick Draw is good too here. So Yasuo has a 4 cost, Garen's a 5 cost, this is what we have to think about. If I get Quick Draw and draw Yasuo, it's then a 3 cost. But that's also assuming I can use it on turn 3 and draw it in turn 3. Or after turn 3. We are going to have to take out the Dawn Speakers. Uh, they are hard to get through. Now, I don't really like doing this. Uh, at the same time, we're going to have another Fate Blade Twirler next turn. We wanted to make sure we kept our elusive unit alive, since Demacia doesn't really have any way of getting rid of them. Aside through spells, I guess, but... It's kind of ironic, because lore-wise, they are completely against magic. So, unfortunately here, there's only so much that we can do. So unfortunately for us, they can just bring her back, I guess. Um, but that might be beneficial to do. So we're just going to do this for now. See how things go. We aren't going to use the Bright Steel Protector just yet. And we finally drawn things out long enough to use Yone. Late game Demacian units are very strong though, so we're not here to mess around.
Now, I do have to say, I do have to take my time with this because it is longer to go through. Uh, especially with Yasuo, given his power. It also doesn't help that Ionian units generally, like the ones that we have in Yasuo's deck, aren't as strong as most Demacian units. Like late game Demacian units just kind of roll them. So we do have to be careful and we have to really strategize. <laughs> By doing that, the reason why we did that is to deal with the Vanguard Redeemer. That worked really well for us, actually. We're going to attack with everyone here. See how it goes for us. Alright, so we are just going to immediately attack. They have three... They have three usable units. There's nothing that's stopping us from winning. Hopefully that's enough help for us to take on Garen. We actually have a pretty good hand for this. We have all of our item cards. And we're able to get 7 damage off immediately, which is fantastic.
Now we have 13 damage. Yeah, this is going really well for us. I wasn't expecting to get the these cards. So this is... This is a lot of luck speaking. For sure, because like we could do anything here. We win this turn. I guess it's actually kind of ridiculous now. This is how the deck's supposed to feel. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else that we need to do here, so we're just gonna wrap this up. So far, we have yet to fail any adventure, which is fin fantastic and unheard of compared to before. So I would say it might be easier. Um, it might be luck dependent. It did take us longer. Uh, to complete with Yasuo. And we, we were able to level up. Now we unlock Lux. I don't know what this weird orb thing is. But we'll find out. Oh cool. It gives us a relic item. It's a bronze reliquary. That's fantastic. Unfortunately for us. The Z drive prototype is. Not the best. But it's not bad. Um, we've also. Increased our legend level. So now we have epic drops as well as a silver vault. So I suppose as long as we continue to level up our legend level, then we will get all the fragments as opposed to what I said earlier. So now, as we can see, we have five champions. Uh, we do have Bard, we do have Annie, we have Yasuo, Jinx, as well as Lux. Uh, we almost have Misfortune. We have some shards towards other characters as well. We really want Lowie. However, there's no way of unlocking her as of yet. So we're also going to check out this, uh, the chapter quests. As we can see, we are done with the daily and weekly quests. And so right now we have to beat another uh, 1.5 star difficulty mission uh, in order to get to chapter three. In terms of the pulse fire event, uh, we've been passively completing this. We also have some more loot that we've unlocked. I'm not entirely sure what five energy orbs are. I'm not entirely sure what that's in reference to. After playing Yasuo, I don't care for his playstyle early on. Um, I think as he develops in terms of level, that things will go better. That being said, I'm going to try Annie and see if I like her or not. Uh -huh.